Hey guys, MGH here. Welcome back to the second episode of today of my Arsenal career mode. Um, today's second episode is going to be a little bit different. Um, I did plan to actually, you know, get a couple of good games in here and chop them down to highlights, but unfortunately I did run out of time. I've only been able to record one game and that is the Liverpool match. So I've decided to give you pretty much the full game and I'm going to talk about some things that I need to talk about. So I guess you could say it's not the normal kind of career mode video, but at least I'm going to be showing you the match. Um, yeah, just things popped up this afternoon that unfortunately happen when you, you know, first move into a house. Some issues have been popping up. Uh, mainly internet stuff as well. Right? I know, I know people must be getting bored of that, so I'll get onto that in a minute. First of all, you can see the team that I'm setting up here. I'm really changing things around for this match. A lot of players were tired. I'm trying to get Gundogan as many games as he can get, but um, it looks like he's a little bit tired, so we're going to give him a rest. We're playing Giroud as well. Now, you know, guys, Giroud has kind of fallen out of favour in my club at the moment. We've got Yilmaz playing almost every game. We've got Viviano in goal as well, and I'm going to put some youngsters on the bench as well that I can potentially bring on in the second half. Um, I do have a lot of youngsters that I intend to play more of, guys, so don't worry about that. But players like, you know, Coquelin and or Coquelin, or sorry, and uh, DRB, they're, they're pretty much going to be my first team, well, my second first team players, if you know what I mean, in front of the youngsters. Um, it's just the way it is, like, all the games I've been playing are pretty important. I, like, maybe next season, when I've got the Champions League football, if I get it, and the FA Cup, and the Capital One Cup, maybe I could just use my youngsters in Capital One Cup games, literally just play my reserve teams in those games, because they're not obviously as important. But um, anyway, while the gameplay is in the background, I'll discuss little bits here and there. Um, but there are some things I need to discuss, so I apologise if you find it boring. Um, maybe you could mute me and just watch the gameplay. It's really up to you. But basically, guys, um, I realised over the last, I I'd say, two months um, since I've moved into my new house, there's been issues with my consistency, I know. And look at Sterling getting injured in the first few minutes. Um, right, first of all, I, I do see a lot of people just saying that I don't care anymore. A, a lot of people saying that, you know, I I'm just not active enough, other people are better than me and that I don't deserve my subscriber base. Now, don't get me wrong, it's only a few people. How did I not score that? Um, but it does get to me because, guys, I love doing this, and everyone knows that. I, I, I genuinely love doing this. I love career mode. I love uploading videos. And since I started over three years ago, yes, three years ago, before anyone else did that, there was barely anyone doing it at that point, um, I've always really enjoyed uploading multiple videos per day. And up to when I moved out, I was able to do that. I had a hundred megabyte internet at my parents' house. It was absolutely amazing. I could upload. I uploaded eight videos in one day once. That was insane. And they were all proper ten-minute videos. I used to do marathons um, when Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 came out before I was a FIFA YouTuber. Um, yes, I, the first year I did mainly like FPS games. Um, I did what I called marathons, where I would do 26 games in one week. 26 videos, sorry, in one week. Um, unfortunately, when I moved into this property, I got a little bit overexcited when I bought it. Um, I'm only renting, by the way, for the first year, so I haven't put any major money into it. But um, it's such a nice house, I kind of got a bit overexcited when I came to see it. And I kind of reserved it on the spot. I, I thought, you know what, I like the house, I'm comfortable here. This is what I want my first house to be. Now, everyone will understand that, surely. You want to get your house secured before someone else comes and gets it, because they were having a few viewings that day. Um, and again, I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about it too much, but it's quite interesting to me to explain it. I want you guys to understand my predicament here. Um, now, because I was so excited and I reserved the house, basically I paid to have it, like, reserved under my name. Um, I think it was like 600 quid or something, so it's quite a lot of money to reserve a house like that. Um, I didn't actually check the internet speeds, and I know it's the biggest mistake of my life. I didn't, I didn't even think about it. I don't know what was wrong with me. I got home that day and thought, oh, I should check the internet there. And when I checked it, I realised it was five kilometres away from the exchange. And if you don't know what that means, basically, the exchange is where the internet is, you know, it's the connection area. I'm five kilometres away from it. it it's got to travel five kilometres down a phone line to my house. And basically what that means, guys, is my internet is very, very unstable. It's constantly dropping and it is very, very slow. Now, some people will be watching this thinking, well, I've got slow internet, it's not a big deal. But trust me, when you run a YouTube channel where your viewers expect multiple videos daily, it's all of a sudden going from 100 megabytes to 0.6 is a big deal. I am unable to upload as many videos as I want to. It's as simple as that. And it breaks my heart every day I wake up knowing that, you know, I might have promised three uploads and I could only get one up. 
Um, there's days where I've said, right guys, I'm finally able to upload, and then suddenly, bang, my internet goes down. And it's down for 12 hours sometimes. Like, what, what can I do? Sometimes I've even gone to my grandparents' house, like, to upload. You have no idea, guys. I do go to the effort to do as best as I can. But there's some days where, you know, I've got other stuff to do. I've got to go and get the shopping in. I've got to pay the bills. I've got to, you know, tidy up before my mum and dad come over. I just don't have time to travel out and upload a video taking two hours, you know. My grandma and granddad's internet is shit as well, but it was up. Um, so you've got to understand, guys, that for the last few months it, it, it's been difficult, but it looks as if it's going to be sorted. So if you don't know, I'm with Sky, and I arranged it to be fixed with Sky. Three weeks ago we started the process... And we finally got to the point last week where they, wow, what a pass, um, where they realised, okay, it's, it's the line. The line going into the house is faulty. So I had an engineer out on Monday to come and fit one, and he couldn't do it because it goes through a tree and they need two people. So currently I'm waiting for a phone call to you know, under, understand when they're going to be coming out with two guys so they can do the job. And they're hoping it's going to be tomorrow. So as I'm recording this... I've got literally 0.6 megabytes, but tomorrow, if they fix it, I should go up to 4, which is what my property should have. 4 megabytes is still not the best, but it's doable. I'll be able to get double uploads done more. So all I can say, guys, is I'm really, really sorry, and I, I'm honest with you guys all the time. I genuinely care as much as I did three years ago as I do now. I want to upload videos, but I just haven't been able to, and I'm sorry to have gone on about it so much. And I appreciate the fact this isn't like a normal episode, but you have to forgive me. I've got to explain these things. Um, the whole intro thing as well, I get a lot of comments saying, oh, your intro says daily FIFA content. Um, well, the reason I've kept it is because it's continuity, isn't it? It's my music, it's my intro. And in a year's, a year's time, when people watch back their videos, it will still say daily FIFA content. I can't change that. Um, so yes, I get it. It's a funny joke. Um, but it does get to me. You know, I am quite a... I'm easy to upset, I'm quite an emotional person I think, um, and I maybe don't deal with pressure and stress well. Um, you could say it's not the best qualities to have as a FIFA YouTuber because although it's not a real job and there's no real stress, you know, if I don't upload, I don't upload. But the stress of disappointing fans and subscribers and friends and stuff like that, that is, that's a real pressure. I do have a pressure to upload every single day and I'm doing my best, I promise guys. So um, hopefully you guys will understand. Um, any support in the comments is greatly appreciated, although I'm sure I'll get quite a lot of hate as usual. Um, so if you are watching this video and you, you can sympathise with me, I'd really appreciate your support in this video. And you can tell those haters to go fuck themselves. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's on the up, guys. That's all I can say. Again, I'm not going to promise that I'll get a double upload every day, but I should have a FIFA video every single day from when it's fixed, and I will let you know when. Um, anyway, what else have I got to discuss? Ah, yes, my second channel. So, I've just started a new series on my second channel. Now, if you're not interested in Grand Theft Auto, then it's not for you. But it is a series where I'm online and I'm making paper. I'm making money. Um, it's called From Rags to Riches. Although, there were some other titles that some subscri subscribers came up with, like Get Rich or Die Trying, which is quite good. Um, I might do that one another time. But From Rags to Riches is my series where I'm just trying to earn as much money as I can. What a goal, Insigne! 81st minute we finally score. Um, so if you're interested in that, please do click the link in the description to go to my second channel. I think we're coming up to 55,000 subscribers in the next few weeks, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, other than that, I think um, I've covered what I wanted to talk about. Again, like I said, I know it's not the proper episode, but I, I just didn't have time to get more gameplay. I don't think people realise that I have, I have actually got to play the games. <laughs> And uh, some of them are 15 minutes each, so uh, sometimes I don't have the 45 minutes in that day to make the first video, get the gameplay for the next one, edit, commentate, all of that stuff. It just sometimes doesn't work. So I do appreciate your, your uh, patience with this episode. Um, but you can see the Arsenal team is looking pretty good right now. I think although I've moulded the team slightly, it's not really looking like the usual Arsenal team. But if you consider who I've brought in, I think they're very, very good options. I think... Bringing in Montoya was absolutely brilliant. He's fantastic. Yilmaz has proved to be one of the best signings I've ever made. He's an astonishing striker, really powerful and strong. And obviously Gundogan is also very, very strong indeed. And Insigne is like the ultimate substitute. He can play anywhere. And uh, Bartra, of course, has come in every now and again. Is there anyone else I'm missing? I don't think so. Um, I I'm really happy with the squad. And to be honest, the only reason I would need to bring someone else in is if someone else gets old and starts losing stats. So if you have any ideas 
for some of my older players, i.e. for Mertesacker, for Marlon, Flamini is starting to get old, um, Kazula is, Podolski. If you have any replacement ideas, please do leave a comment because I will read them all tonight, I'm sure. And uh, that would be absolutely awesome. But there you can see we got the three points at Anfield. It's a very hard-fought victory there. 1-0. Insigne with the goal in the 81st minute. Again, sorry for being a bit of a bore in this episode. Um, but hopefully you understand my situation. Next episode will be up soon. See you then.